In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the artist statement for your name still life. This is an example of what your finished project will look like. So to begin with, let's refresh our memory about the criteria of the project. So you were supposed to spell your name and then use create multiple compositions using symbolic objects, so objects that represent different aspects of your personality. And while you were arranging those compositions, you were supposed to use the rule of thirds, a special color scheme, get close, or use leading lines. You could have used all of those, or you could have just used one of those. It depends on uh, what you did with your project. So uh, what you should do is find your favorite image, and then put it into a Google document, and then write your artist statement explaining what a little bit about some of the objects that you used. You don't have to explain every single object if you don't want to, just the most important ones. And then also say which one or two of these that you used that stands out the most. Rule of thirds, special color scheme, get close, or leading lines. So let's, uh, I'll show you how to do that. So from anywhere that you can get the apps launcher, I like to use my Gmail, go ahead and launch docs. And in docs, create a blank document and go to insert image from photos. And this will pop up over here on the side. Go ahead and click albums. Scroll down to your name still life photos. Double click it and then find the one that you want. Now I'm purposely going to choose one that has a little flaw in it. I'll choose uh, this one right here. And I can either double click it or click insert right here. So that puts the image inside this Google Doc, but you can see I have this little sliver showing right here where the background shows, and I wanna get rid of that. So I'm going to click the image, select the crop tool, and then click on this black part right here and drag that in. Whoops, so I didn't click on exactly the right spot, so I'm gonna undo that. Control Z and try it again. There we go, that time it worked. So you can see this part right here where it's faded out is the part that it's going to cut off. So to cut that off, I'll just click this button again. Now underneath this, I can write my artist statement. And rather than um, rewrite it, I'm just going to uh, read it to you from here. So this is what I wrote. I used my necklace to create a leading line through the photo. The necklace catches the viewer's eye at the top by the J and then leads to the E at the end. I chose purple paper as the background to coordinate with the purple jewelry. A few of the blocks are also purple. The repetition of purple ties the scene together, which creates a sense of unity. The objects were all chosen to represent activities, interests, and ideas that are important to me. For example, the nest and eggs represent family, and the, and the handmade jewelry and flower seeds represent creativity. And then I put a little dash with my name after it, and I chose to use a different font for my name than I used for the text. So um, I titled this artist statement for name still life. And I can see right here where it's saved at. It's saved in my name still life folder. So um, it's always a good idea to keep these all organized. So you can click this little button here and then navigate to different places if you want to uh, move it somewhere. Uh, special to keep your your files organized. So then um, back in Google Classroom, let me get that Google Classroom and we will go to photo. So then here is the name still life 
And because I'm a teacher, I don't have an, an add button or a turn in button, but as a student, you will. So just click that button here. Um, this is usually the area where it shows up and then navigate to your drive and select your statement and then turn push the uh, submit button. That's it for this video.